Okay, brief summary here. Uh, under adding fractions, we add two more fractions. Before we can add these, we want to put both fractions in completely factored form, which we do here. Uh, this factors to this, this factors to this, and those are simple factoring, and I do note that people come into this pre-calculus course uh, with half decent, you know, with, with, with okay, uh, and sometimes very good skills in factoring. Okay, in any case, here are denominators. Now we see x plus 4 is common to both, but x plus 1 and x plus 2, x plus 1 is not, this doesn't appear over here, x plus 2 doesn't appear over here. Follows that our common denominator is x plus 4 times x plus 1 times x plus 2. So we take the first fraction. We need an x plus 2 in the denominator, so we multiply by x plus 2 over x plus 2. We take the second rational expression. We're missing the x plus 1 in the denominator, so we multiply by x plus 1 over x plus 1. And here's our result. Both fractions now have the same denominator, so we can add their numerators retaining the denominator. Now, I didn't want to get into all the detail we've illustrated using the distributive law uh, a couple of times, and of course we're going to emphasize that. But if you use a distributive law here, you get x squared plus 4x plus 4, which is here. If you use a distributive law on x minus 2 times x plus 1, you get x squared minus x minus 2. If you multiply through by 2, you get 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. We add the numerators, get this expression, and we factor this. This factors into x times 3x plus 2. We factor the numerator to be sure that it doesn't have any factors common to the denominator. Well, 3x plus 2 doesn't appear down here, and x doesn't appear as a factor down here. I mean, you got x's here, but they're not factors. So this is completely factored, and the completely factored form is the form we really want when we're looking at an expression like this, as we'll see later when we do rational expressions. Um, polynomial divided by polynomial. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the form. <coughs> I get choked up when I talk about this. Uh, this is the form we want to use when we graph the function because we're able to immediately identify where the function is zero and where it has vertical asymptotes, which is going to be a big deal in graphing rational functions. <coughs>